Hey there, this is Mike Gingrich with Tab Site. Super excited about the new Canva integration into each Tab Site app. So I just want to give you a little orientation to it. So I'm in the back end of the Tab Site Manager right now, and I'm just going to jump into uh, one of these apps. I got an essay contest app here. So if I open that up, obviously it's going to load the essay contest app where I can set up that app. And uh, you're up in the contest setup area, you'd fill in the details, but the Canva button is going to come into play anytime you would load an image uh, in a contest, in a sweepstakes, in a deal app, any, any app where you're going to load an image. That's where Canva comes into play. So in this contest, you can set up your text instructions and then your image instructions that you want to go with it. Now we have a default image in there. It's the vote image. And uh, this is where you can drag to load an image. The open image library is where you would go to access any previous images that you've loaded to tab site and then now is the Canva button. So let's go ahead and click that button and it comes up with um, more details and basically it allows you to set the custom image size. Now again most of our contest apps are already preset for you that you want to load a 810 by 610 wide image and so you can customize if you want to by filling in the boxes uh, you know filling in the details there but in general you want to use 810 by 610 because that is what Canva has created templates for all of our users to be. They, they created them at that size, and so to be able to access that size, you want to keep it at that width. So here we go. I click on the Canva button, and if you are not logged into Canva, it would prompt you with your um, email address, password to log into Canva. But uh, here we are. We're right in Canva, and as you can still see below, I'm still in Tab Site as well. Nothing changed. I'm in Tab Site, but Canva is now overloaded. So I'm on Layouts. Just uh, this is normal Canva that you're used to, and these are all though specific templates that they have created for our Tab Site users. So there's a whole bunch of them that you can. Uh, go through and take a look at, take the quiz, steps to enter, um, all types of them. And of course, you have all the other options within Canva, the text, you know, the different backgrounds that give you options of, and of course, your own upload one because you have accessed Canva before, so you have access to anything that you've uploaded. So I'll go back to layouts, and let's just say I'm going to select the steps to enter layout here. All right. And just like in any Canva one, I can click on any area and edit those different pieces uh, and, and basically just create my image. So in this case, let's say I want to make all blue boxes there so that I have some similarity just for a quick demo here. So I'm going to go over to the blue one. I'm going to copy that and move that over. There we go. And let's say I want one more. I bring that one over. Can just tell me where to line them up? All right. So uh, I could add text on those. Let's just say I'm done for example purposes here. So watch what happens then. When I'm done, I go up to the publish button. And Cam's already told me it's saved it. So I hit publish. And it prepares my image. And basically what this is going to do is take it right back into tab site for me at that location where I accessed it. So I'm going to load this image in tab site. If you did use any of their uh, design premium elements, you know, you would have to pay for them right here, dollar piece, that type of thing. But I use all free elements. They have a number of templates where you can use all free elements. And so it's a great uh, way to have custom uh, designs for your contest. I'm not doing anything. It just loads it right in there. So you can see this image changed right there in my contest. And just to have a little look at that, let's go down to the preview area in tab site. And I'm going to pull up the preview for this contest and there it is steps to enter my blue boxes and I'm good to go with the Canva integration in my app there so that's a quick overview guide on how to use Canva in your tab site app and again that's going to be available at all locations so let's just say we wanted to go to the pre-contest area and I wanted to add an image in the pre-contest. Again, where image is at, wherever that is at, you're not going to have the drag and drop. You're going to be able to access your pre previously loaded images that you've done tab site and access Canva. So then I would just save my information. And this app is saved. I'm good to go. So powerful stuff with Canva and all those templates that they're, they're creating more and more of those at that size for you to use in tab site. So be sure and take advantage of that. This is Mike.
with Tab Site. Over and out. Have a good one.